We're just days away from the special election to replace ousted Long Island Congressman George Santos. And according to a new poll, the must-watch race with congressional implications appears to be tight heading into Tuesday. According to a Newsday Siena College poll, Tom Swazi leads Mozzie Pillip 48% to 44%. Early voting is already underway for the district that represents parts of Nassau County and Queens. And our Jody Goldberg sat down with both candidates who spoke about their plans for Long Island as they make their final pitches to voters. Democrat Tom Swazi and Republican Mozzie Pillup have less than a week left to campaign in a race to replace the seat once held by embattled ex-Congressman George Santos. Whoever wins could be the difference in making a Democratic or Republican majority. You have to choose between somebody that people know who's been around uh, versus somebody who's unknown. Thomas Wazi time is over. He had the opportunity. He created this mess. Swazi is blaming DC's dysfunction on everyone else, arguing he can fix it. The married father of three previously represented the district for six years before an unsuccessful run for governor. Whoever wins the race will get sworn in on the floor and will give a speech to the whole Congress. And if I get to give that speech, you know what I'm going to say? Wake up! People are sick of this. They're sick of all the attacking and the fighting. Swazi's trying to blunt GOP lines of attack by saying he's pro-police and will stand up to more left-wing members of the Democratic Party who he disagrees with over immigration policy. He says Pillup, a two-term NASA legislator, is untested and naive. Same story, new name. Mozzie Pillip's about to embarrass us again. My opponent is really George Santos 2.0. At least he showed up in, in front of us to lie to us. Uh, she's, like, not showing up anywhere, and I don't know whether she's telling the truth or not because we don't know anything about her. But Pillup, who also places great emphasis on immigration and public safety, says she's the fresh face Republicans need to represent them in Congress. The married mother of seven children is an Ethiopian Jew who immigrated to Israel and served in the IDF. She's a registered Democrat but is running on the GOP and conservative ballot lines in hopes of reassuring Republican voters her values are their values. Like many other um, immigrants, we registered as a Democrat, but the Democratic Party I registered when I came to this country is not the same. They change so much, they become so extreme. When it comes to social views, Pillup is pro-life while Swazi is pro-choice. Both commit to not supporting a national abortion ban, say they want to restore salt and stand by strict border security. Well, let me make it perfectly clear that I support the president's agenda 100%. As for past and current presidents, Pillup in an ad said Swazi supported Biden, who has failed on border policy. Swazi says Biden and Trump have both been underwhelming. Pillup says Trump to despite his legal troubles and being found liable for sex crimes, was a great president and would welcome his endorsement. I would love him to come. If he has time to come to campaign for me, I would appreciate that. Both candidates condemn anti-Semitism, while Pillup is against congestion pricing, saying it will make New York less affordable. Swazi says it's a good idea in theory, but isn't for right now. I want to secure the borders. I want to bring safety. I want to fund our police. I want to improve our economy. Immigration's not done by then. I'll make immigration number one priority. Number two will be to get the state and local tax deduction back. But number three, and overriding everything going on in Washington, D.C., is to foster the idea that people need to work together to solve problems instead of attacking each other. Close to 40,000 votes have already been cast. This includes absentee ballots. Early voting will run through Sunday, ahead of the special election this coming Tuesday. In Glencove, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.